Imagine a move to earn game that's a mix of Pokemon Go and Tamagotchi that you can start playing completely for free on the Solana blockchain. That is exactly what Geno Pets is. Because the community has been so interested in this project, we decided to reach out to the Geno Pets team and do our very first projects AMA slash interview directly with the team. Almost every single question in this interview came directly from the community. So if you dropped a question under my Twitter post, you might have a shout out in this video. Now the interview is over an hour long, so we decided to break this down into a five part series where we cover what GenoPets is, GenoPets gameplay, how you can earn money playing GenoPets, some of the exciting new features coming to GenoPets like skill-based battles, and of course our favorite tokenomics and sustainability for this project. In this five part series, we will be talking with GenoPets COO, Kevin Kim who goes into great detail on everything that you need to know about this new move to earn game, or should I say the original move to earn game, including some major alpha on what he thinks the demand is going to be growing for in the future. They're going to be the most important and necessary ingredient. Oh, and one more thing. Gino Pets was nice enough to give me 100 activation codes. So stay tuned to the end to find out exactly how you can get one. Let's jump right into part one of this five part series where Kevin will introduce himself, Gino Pets, and share some background on the team who put it together. Alrighty guys, I am here with the surprise guest that I have for today's video, which is Kevin. And if you guys don't know who Kevin is, he is the COO of Geno Pets. Kevin, how are you doing today? How's everything going? Doing well, man. Things are hectic, but super exciting. Um, very excited to be here and, and thank you for having me on. And for those who don't know, I'm, I'm Kevin. Uh, I actually joined the project, I think, as the first full-time employee after the three co-founders. Um, and that was back in November, or very early November of last year. So a long time ago, but also a very short time ago, um, all things considered. Wow, that, that's amazing. And and. How did you get involved? How did you hear about GenoPets? How did you get involved in the project? Personally, I've been a crypto enthusiast since, in fact, back in 2013 or so. Mm -hmm. um, back then, I didn't realize, I had no idea how big the whole category would, would ever become. But that's when I first started to sniff around Bitcoin and, and learn about things. I, I never thought it would become a professional pursuit. Uh, my background over the last uh, eight years has been in uh, a different sort of gaming, sports betting, online casino, and uh, online skill games. I, I worked in that industry for uh, between seven and eight years. Around last year, a very close friend of mine who I had never worked with professionally, but had always been um, you know, a, a close friend, kind of floated this idea by me of a startup that he was starting to raise for. Uh, that, that individual is Albert Chen, our CEO and CTO. And, um, he started describing the concept to me. And even before we even talked about the crypto or, or NFT side of it, I, I was immediately intrigued because I'm a gamer, much like m many other people on the team. Um, and, you know, they were hiring. It was a big change for me to shift not only industries, but enter essentially a, a startup environment versus a more established corporate environment that I was at. Um, but, you know, that was about 10 months ago and I haven't looked back. So for someone who is completely brand new to Geno Pets. They've never heard of Geno Pets. What is Geno Pets and how did it come about? We're at the intersection of many things and there's a lot of different phenomenons, concepts, technologies that are coming together for our game. But if I had to start some somewhere with, um, and I was explaining it to someone who had never heard of it before, uh, I would describe it as a free to play game, a free to play mobile game that makes it fun and rewarding to live an active lifestyle. It is a virtual pet care and evolution game um, where the Geno pet is your digital pet. It's your own spirit animal. It's a representation of you and your efforts within our game universe. And, you know, just like any other virtual pet care game out there, um, the game is about evolving that pet building a bond with it, going on adventures with it, customizing it, battling it, and really just 
progressing through the game experience and the journey provided by the game alongside this virtual animal, um, this creature that really represents all the, the, the work that you've put into pursuing an active lifestyle. And the way we've done that is by integrating step counting so that the app tracks the number of steps that you take and ports it into the game as energy for your pet. Basically, if you want to do anything within our game, you need to move first and generate that energy so that your pet can evolve, battle, explore, um, become customized. And for you to unlock any feature in the game, you have to move. And so in some ways, it's like a Tamagotchi or a Pokemon Go. But uh, the way that I like, I like to kind of frame it for people is that it's a Tamagotchi. If you've ever heard of this game where you take care of a pet, it's a Tamagotchi for the 21st century. It's for us today. As in, it's a Tamagotchi you take care of by taking care of yourself. That was definitely a, a very popular game back then. And and Pokemon Go, I think everybody's heard of Pokemon Go. And, and that was a phenomenon like a, a few years back um, that took the world basically by storm. And I'm sure that you know this, but there's a lot of uh, projects all of a sudden that are, you know, move to earn. What is it true that Geno Pets was the original move to earn game? Yeah, I mean, look, we didn't file a patent and I don't even think you can trademark stuff like this. Yeah. Uh, certainly when you're a startup, um, that's not what you're thinking about. But if I look back on the documented materials, if you look back at our initial pitch deck that we were floating around to our the people that would become our seed investors as early as summer of last year, uh, you'll see that the term that was there and I mean, it may have been used before, but as far as we're concerned, we, we actually went through the process of coining that term. And the way we got there was initially we were inspired by the success or the meteoric rise of, um, you know, games like Axie and, uh, and others that really led the way in the play to earn space. But what what kind of really attracted us almost separately was this idea of move to play. So this idea that, you know, it's a game that requires you to be away from the screen mm -hmm. in order to progress. And from there, um, combining move to play and play to earn is what got us to move to earn. How is GenoPets differentiating itself from its competitors in both move to earn and the play to earn space? I think the first point I'd make is that we don't actually view the other players or projects in the space as competitors, or at least not as direct competitors. For one, um, you can for move to earn, you can play all the games at the same time. I will say I, what makes us unique is first and foremost, it's a pet care RPG. Mm -hmm. um, it's an actual role-playing game or uh, similar to it where this pet is an NFT, yes, but that and the NFT technology is basically what allows this pet to um, evolve and grow and take on uh, mutable and immutable characteristics as a result of the work that you put in. And I think that's a little bit different from what anyone else is doing uh, in the move to earn space, maybe even to a great extent in the play to earn space, because we're essentially leveraging sort of the time honored gamification mechanics from these traditional RPGs and virtual pet care games um, and, and kind of subverting them for this process of pursuing a more active lifestyle. Uh, you know, most other plays in the space that I've seen are more centered on how can we get you to walk more or how can how can we reward you for this very specific behavior we've taken a less direct path we've we focused more on creating uh, an end-to-end -end game experience that leverages you know what games can do to change behavior for something like pursuing a more active lifestyle and the best way we and the way we've landed on is by uh pursuing this idea of the NFT is a is a pet, a living, breathing pet within our, our world that you have to take care of by taking care of yourself. And that, that distinction is important because I think when it's all about the individual and the individual walking more to earn more, it's a very self-centered sort of journey. Whereas with this pet, this avatar that you're kind of taking care of, sometimes you do things, if there are any pet owners out there, you do things for your dog, your cat, you'll you'll get up and walk your dog, you'll do things for them that you wouldn't necessarily do for yourself. Right. And and that idea is, is sort of central to, to what we're doing. Can you elaborate a little bit more on the, the rest of the team's background uh, and experience prior to GenoPets? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've got a very eclectic mix of experience, specialties, expertise within the team, um, as well as, you know, in a more narrow sense within the leadership team. Um, my other uh, C-level officers are Albert. He's our CEO and CTO. Um, he comes from a long and very established background of e-commerce, uh, as well as, you know, participating in and leading uh, software projects, mo mostly passion projects, because that's where uh, that, I think that's really what what drives him, his, his interest in the in the technology and the possibilities therein. Um, on the product and design side, we've got Ben, who uh, ha has had a, a, an award winning career, actually, I, I should call out in product design um, and UI and UX design. And so he's the, the artistic uh, mastermind behind the look and the feel of the game. And then um, we've got Jay, our chief marketing officer, who, uh, you know, he has, he's a crypto veteran, um, oversaw and and contributed to the rise of Block, uh, Block One, and just has been involved in a number of crypto and token related projects and, and has a number of successful token launches to his credit. I hope you guys have enjoyed part one of this five part interview with Genopets COO, Kevin Kim. If you guys want a free activation code, I have 100 to give away. Drop a comment below referencing your favorite part of this video with your thoughts or comments on it. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, goes without saying. Now make sure to watch part two of this interview where we talk about Geno Pets gameplay. We go through the entire process of getting started and creating your unique Geno Pets, including a personality quiz that you have to take in order to create your Geno Pet. I think it is going to blow your mind. If you're not already, make sure to hit subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Peace and love.